This video is from the Retro Liberty archives with new edits and live shots. The Mario Brothers games. Is there a more popular and loved Mario. series or franchise out there anywhere in gaming? Today, I want to take a look at the entire Super Mario Bros. series and pick out my favorites. And this is no easy task as you can imagine and this list gave me quite the debacle while writing the script. Make sure to give this video a like and with that, here we go with my top 10 favorite Super Mario Bros. games of all time. Number 10. The Mario Party series. The first Mario Party game was released in December of 1998, and to be completely honest, I was not very impressed with the first release. It wasn't until the next few installments that I really got into the games. These games were perfect for having friends over and just having a good time. Many video games that do mini games seem to get old really fast and seem like a cheap ploy and a cheap way to entertain you, but this is not the case at all with the Mario Party series. Most of these games seem to be well thought out and will keep you laughing up a storm. A major complaint people seem to have on the Nintendo 64 versions are that your thumbs and hands get all beat up while playing these mini games, but come on people, no pain, no gain. Oh man, this is great! Now, not many people are still fans of the series, but to be 100% honest, Ricky and I still get together and play Mario Party 8 and 9 all the time. I truly think no matter how long the series goes on, I will always be entertained by the Mario Party series. Number 9 Paper Mario Nintendo 64 So the Nintendo 64 did not have many RPGs, and even the ones they did have, well, they were not the best. With the stellar success of Super Mario RPG on the Super Nintendo, would Nintendo be able to create another RPG without the help of Square this time around? Yes. Something they kept running in this game was the timed hits, which was pretty groundbreaking for its time when Mario RPG did it. When the game was released, some people were not sure how to feel about the graphics on this game, but I absolutely thought, and still do, think they are spectacular. I love how Nintendo is always bold about stepping out and really pushing the spectrum. Yeah, it was the Nintendo 64, and people probably were expecting graphics like Mario 64, or Wave Race, or Goldeneye, but nope. Nintendo went with the freaking paper-thin Mario. He is glorious. Glorious indeed. I really love the badge system in the game, which can provide access to special attacks, passive bonuses, and even altered sound effects. And speaking of sound effects, they are also reminiscent of some classic Mario titles and just feel right. The soundtrack borrows from its past, but with new ideas and direction to give it a refreshing feel. Nintendo really held their own with this RPG and showed the world that they can represent this flagship franchise very well on their own, even in RPG form. Number 8 Super Mario Galaxy Wii as gamers, we can be guilty many times of overanalyzing video games and looking at them way too much from a technical standpoint to determine if the game is good or not. Sometimes we need to step back, we need to relax, look at it from a distance, say, is this game simply fun or is it not? Super Mario Galaxy is a blast to play and even more brilliant to look at. I got that same feeling I did looking at this as I did when I first saw Mario 64 as a younger child. My brain just felt a sense of beauty in this game right off the bat. The main point I want to get across about this game is that nowadays I feel so many developers are over concerned with making games a movie where we tend to watch half of the game. Super Mario Galaxy just simply says, come, come and play. Let's explore this open new world. Let's go on a journey and not stick to the standards of gameplay which most games are throwing at us. This wonderful game will have you Whoa. sitting in awe as you move your favorite plumber through space and countless drifting planets and so much more. I'm having a hard time finishing this part of the script because honestly, I'm stopping right now. I'm gonna go play this. Seriously. Who the heck is my Wii remote? Number seven. Super Mario Brothers Nintendo Entertainment System Let me start off by saying that many people will say they had to put this game somewhere on the list because it basically saved the video game crash of 1983 and it really started the whole Mario franchise and while this is true, I would like to put it on my list because it's a wonderful game. There is something really special about this classic side-scroller, and I won't gear it towards simply nostalgia. The game has two major things going for it that stand out to me the gameplay and the music. 
the gameplay is perfect, and when you play, you cannot blame the game's controls if you're unable to successfully save the princess because they are responsive and they can easily take Mario, or Luigi, in the direction you want and desire. The music and sound effects are something of a behemoth and I feel can never be taken down, so to say. I think the sound or music from almost any level is undeniably the most recognizable to anybody anywhere when it relates to a video game. Whether you were a Nintendo child or not, you can hear just a mere simple sound and say, oh that? That's Super Mario Brothers. All this aside, the game features brilliant warps, hidden tricks, and an overall wonderful experience. Number 6 Mario Kart 64 Nintendo 64 I feel it's safe to say that any Mario Kart could have easily made its way onto this list as they're all a truly sensational experience. So I went with the one that I played most in my life and played this game I did. I remember sitting back enjoying this game every day after school and my mom doing everything in her power to get my attention to get me to stop playing but I just couldn't. You're gonna get grounded. Play video game. Your dad's gonna come spank you. Busy. I got Del Taco. Learning to power slide like a pro and mastering my shots in battle mode is just a couple of the things that had me relentlessly coming back for more day in and day out. There is not much to say about this game as it's a racing game, but if you have played it, you know I need not say much more than, well, this game is freaking fun. We are now at the halfway point for this video, so I am sure you are tired of hearing my voice at this point, so let's switch it over, get an opinion from my long-haired, beautiful, handsome friend. And Metal Jesus. Most people when they talk about their favorite Mario game are going to list off one of the many platforming games, but for me that's not the case. There is one game that I think just blows them all away and that is Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga on the Game Boy Advance. Now the thing about this game that I really enjoy is that it is an RPG, which happens to be one of my favorite genres of games, but it also stays true to the Mario universe. This could not have taken place anywhere else other than the Mushroom Kingdom. As a matter of fact, this was a game that made me really appreciate Mario's brother, Luigi. This guy's hilarious in this game. I would go so far as to say that Luigi actually steals this game. He's just so funny. Now, being an RPG, you have to get that combat engine just right. And thankfully, Superstar Saga does a great job. Being a Mario game, all of the attacks are jump attacks that are based on your timing and performed either solo or with combos with your brother. You gain experience to level up your stats like power, defense, and even mustache points. As an extra bonus for fans, the game has a bunch of references to other Mario games, including the original Mario Brothers arcade game, Donkey Kong, Super Mario World, Dr. Mario, Yoshi's Island, even Super Mario 64, and Luigi's Mansion on the GameCube. This is a hilarious and really well-made RPG. I love it to death. Number five. Super Mario Brothers 3. Nintendo Entertainment System. Wait, this should be at least number one or number two. Whistles, pea clouds, tanuki suits, larger than life Goombas, flying ships, and so much more. Super Mario Bros. 3 is one of the most splendid games on this earth. If you asked most people what their favorite Mario game on the NES is, they would likely answer this monumental classic, and I don't blame them. All the different suits that Mario can acquire make the game such a blast. Also being able to play mini games to win different items and save these suits or power-ups in your stock was something I was not expecting in a Mario game, but I'm sure glad they did it. So I felt the game was slightly easy, but that was until World 8. World 8 was relentless and would empty your stock of power-ups in no time. Most of this was due to the random hands that would come up and grab you out of nowhere. How is this even fair? Super Mario Bros. 3 lived up to the hype that the wizard built up. I can truly say that I have never met a soul who said they didn't like Super Mario Bros. 3. Number 4 Super Mario 64 Nintendo 64 If there is one vivid memory I have of being in a toy store as a child, the story of Mario 64 is it. When I was a child, I remember walking into a Toys R Us with my brother Adam and heading straight for the video games, as always. But something was different this time. 
There was a crowd around a console and we could not see what was being played. We stood around to try and see what was going on just as everyone else was doing. Then we heard it. It's me, Mario! It was the new Mario we had heard so much about and had been dying to play. Time went by which felt like hours and it was finally our turn to play. So my brother Adam went first and... My jaw dropped. We were looking at a 3D Mario game with this gorgeous music and graphics. My brother looked at me and said, this controls amazing. I couldn't believe my eyes or ears as to what was happening. I stood in absolute awe. This is one of those moments in my life I will never ever forget. Still to this day, Mario 64 is one of the best 3D games and games in general that I've ever experienced. The control still handles perfectly. The graphics are full and rich and make me feel a perfect sense of my childhood while playing. And the music is 100% flawless. Dire Dire Docks is still a song that can and still does give me chills each and every time I hear it. Number three. Super Mario World. Super Nintendo. Go ahead. Come at me. As a child playing Mario Brothers 3 and hearing there was going to be a new Mario game for the upcoming Super Nintendo, one had to think, could this compare to Super Mario Brothers 3? Well, yes. Yes, it did. Super Mario World was such a great follow-up to such a classic, and in my opinion, just did everything Mario 3 did, but much better. We also got a chance to play alongside Yoshi, who is now a major staple in the Mario franchise. The game takes a decent amount of skill to beat, and you will need to do some level memorizing, and it will also take some good timing on your part to complete this gem. There are many hidden areas here in Super Mario World, which brings the game's replayability to a top tier. And as always with Mario games, the controls are tight and responsive, and honestly, makes me wonder why so many failed side-scrollers did not take note from one of the true kings of side-scrolling, Mario. Number 2 Super Mario Bros. 2 Nintendo Entertainment System So I know what tons of you are saying right now, but this was a game called Doki Doki Panic, and it wasn't even supposed to- I know. I know. But it is a Mario game, regardless of how it became one, and I freaking love it. One of the main reasons this may stick out to me as one of the greatest Mario games of all time may be that this game has a little bit of a dark side. Some of the enemies in the game really do give off a dark or creepy feel, and well, I'm a huge fan of horror movies and survival horror games. The music that goes along with the bosses is a perfect fit. It gives you a sense of action and a sense of urgent action and makes you feel as if you have seconds to act. Also being able to choose from four different characters was stellar because it wasn't just for show, but each character had its own special attributes, which made playing with each character a different experience. And I also hear, this script was written years ago, okay? That the new Mario 3D Land borrows a bit from this. Whether we like it or not, Mario Brothers 2 is a Mario game, and in my humble opinion, it is one of the best games I have ever played in my entire life. Number one. Super Mario RPG, Super Nintendo. Please take serious note of this. This script and this video was made originally years ago, long before Mario Odyssey was even a thing or even a thought in the world. I did not want to give this away earlier, but Odyssey would have been my number two pick and would have pushed the Mario Party games out of this list. Now back to the archives. In 1996, the Super Nintendo was starting to head out, and Nintendo was gearing up for the Ultra 64, or Nintendo 64. But before they went, Square teamed up with Nintendo to send Mario off with a proper farewell. And oh my gosh. Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars is a game that will forever be ingrained in my heart. Now I had never been into RPGs much at all when this came out, but my brother somehow managed to convince me to give this game a try, and when I did, I was blown away. Yes, I know the same old story of the princess being captured by Bowser, but this time it was different. The opening scene where she was taken away struck something in me. It seemed more believable than normal.
I really felt as if I was on a quest to save her. And through the game, the tables turned and things got mixed up. And what? Bowser was now on my side. I could not believe it. I was able to join up with a few others as well and was introduced to Mello and Gino, who I am still dying to see in a Smash Brothers game. The graphics were wonderful, and I admit I was not used to or very fond of isometric laid out games, but this didn't hinder my enjoyment in any way. The music brought to us in Super Mario RPG is darn near perfection. The Starlight's flower theme is something special to me. I can't quite put my finger on it, but it just does something to me emotionally that I simply cannot explain. If I could only have one Mario game with me for the rest of my life, it would be this one by Miles and Miles. Something I have not told any of you yet is that, well, Super Mario RPG just might possibly be my favorite game of all time, ever. The Mario Brothers series has not only changed the gaming world, but they have changed so many of us personally in our lives and so many of the memories that we hold near and dear to our hearts. I know many of you, like me, those memories are filled with Mario Brothers events in our life. So I wanna say thank you to the Super Mario Bros games and a bigger thank you to Nintendo as a whole. Thanks for watching.